Metroid was released in 1986 on the Nintendo Entertainment System and instantly puts you in a situation where you don't know who you are, where you are, or what you're doing. I call it NES Confusion. You're basically just exploring your surroundings and finding power-ups like this. This one is the Morph Ball. But how are we supposed to know that? All you know is you just touched some shiny ball and it disappeared. And you're stuck in here too. Look, you can't fit under there because it's too small. So you try and jump up here. But you can't get out because it's too high for you to jump. What you're supposed to do is go under here and push down and turn into Morph Ball. But how would you know how to do that? They just let you touch some shiny ball and you don't know what it is and they expect you to know how to control it. And another thing, it'd be nice if you could shoot diagonally. If I were in a situation like this, I wouldn't be aiming perfectly straight or perfectly straight up. Like right here. Come on, Samus, please. Just tilt the gun a little lower. Oh, come on. I can only hit someone if they've lined up with me vertically or horizontally. But whenever that happens, they can attack me easily. And then there's these climbing rooms which seem to go on forever. They just keep going up and up and up and up. Okay, uh, so what's the point of this room? Uh, here's another one. Oh, well, that was close. Ah! Now, if I could shoot diagonally, I could actually hit these guys, but... Well, I guess I am asking for a little too much. This was on the NES, and back then that may have been a little difficult for a D-pad to go diagonally, but... Geez, why make an enemy that I can't shoot? So I just don't even bother with these guys. They're never in that flat or perfectly above you stage because they're constantly moving and constantly going diagonally. Whoa! Ah, get me out! Ah! Yes! Now this thing is an energy tank. It gives me 99 extra hit points or whatever it is I take when I get hurt. You can tell how many energy tanks I have by how many squares are in the top left corner. A solid blue square means that I have a tank to spare and an empty square just means that I just emptied that tank and I don't have any extra health in there that I can use. So when you think about it, an energy tank would be a great thing to have in this game because you're constantly getting hurt. But no, whenever you die, you start over with just 30 hit points. You still have all the other tanks, but they're empty. What was the point of getting them if I'm not going to fill them up? At the beginning of the game, you're standing there like you just entered some space base or something. Wouldn't you have healed yourself if you're going to do that? Imagine playing The Legend of Zelda and every time you got a heart container and you died and started over, it was empty and you had to fill it up yourself. That's not so bad in The Legend of Zelda. I mean, to fill up a heart container, you just touch a heart, but not for Samus. To fill up an energy tank for Samus in this game, you have to touch about 13 or 15, 30, I don't know how many of these stupid little healing things that don't really heal you at all. Just a little thing that gives you, say, five extra health points, which really isn't gonna do squat in this game, considering every enemy does about 15 damage per hit. And you only get about, I don't know, one or two of these things out of every ten enemies you kill. But in The Legend of Zelda, they're all over the place. You'll find yourself picking them up when you don't even need them at all. Just to hear that funny noise that it makes whenever you touch one. Oh, what the heck, you stupid little... Oh, jeez. Let me stay in here. Oh, I don't want to hurt you. And now I do. I'm going to kill you, you stupid little... Yeah, I'm going to kill you with my ineffective weapon that can't go anywhere. Ah, take that. Now you probably can't see this because of the screen, but what I'm shooting blends into the wall background and it barely goes anywhere. See how close I have to get someone to actually hit them? Oh great, another red door. You can shoot this all you want, it's not going to open. You have to open it by shooting it with five missiles. But the only way to get missiles is to find a missile expansion. Which are just like the energy tanks, they just hold a certain number of missiles that you can shoot. But how would you know to hit it with five? Normally you would try to hit it with your normal beam doesn't work okay shoot a missile at it one missile nope didn't work so I'd walk away and say oh well can't get through now this game uses a password system instead of saving if you want to continue your progress at the beginning of the game you type in whatever password they gave you and unless you're a serious freak of nature and can remember a 24 character password you're gonna have to write that down and when you're writing this down you get a bunch of problems like O's look like zeros and Lowercase L's look like 1's, and stuff like that. And remember, your energy is just 30 when you start this game, so you're gonna die in an instant. And then you'll just get another password to write down. And is it just me, or is password just one word? There's no space in between the pass and the word. And since I'm not really gonna play through this incredibly difficult game, how about I just type in a cheat password that someone found? 
I don't know who would guess this. The code is NARPA SWORD, and then you fill in the rest of the spaces with zeros. Who would guess that? What is NARPAS? Is it describing sword? It must be some adjective because it's in front of a noun. Well, NARPAS is not in the dictionary. What does it mean? The person who found this couldn't have guessed it. You can't just sit in front of the game and say, hmm, I'm just going to type in NARPAS, and then sword, and then a bunch of zeros. Let's see what we get. And hey, would you look at that? I have unlimited health unlimited missiles, and I have every weapon in the game. Well, this password's worth some giggle biscuits. Well, now that I have the ability to progress through the game, I might as well find out what happens. Because it turns out there actually are boss fights in this game. But getting to them and finding them without a map is nearly impossible. So this is the map of Metroid. But really, you have no idea how unbelievably huge this game is. I could be zooming in here forever and still there's details and things that you would have missed if you hadn't looked at it. So to give you an idea where you are, you start here. And Kraid, the first boss, is down here. And Ridley, the second boss, is way down here. And Mother Brain is up there. After you beat Mother Brain, the game ends and you win. But the only way to get to Mother Brain is to beat Ridley and Kraid. Well, since I'm unbeatable right now because I'm Narpa's sword, I'll just go the most direct route to Kraid. This away. That doesn't look too difficult. I mean, it's right there. But getting in's the easy part. Now, Kraid is constantly pummeling you with. Oh! Let me try this again here. Now, just watch how much damage Kraid takes. Think of how much damage I would have taken by the time it took for me to kill him. He just takes so much damage. He'll just go on and on and live and live. I would take so many energy tanks just to kill this guy, but they only give you 30 damage. You could only take, like, three hits. Okay, so I killed Kraid, right? Now the hard part starts. I have to get out of here. So I shoot these little blocks. They reappear after a while, so you shoot them and jump. Hope that they appear under you. Because if they appear on you, they'll kick you off to the side, and you'll just fall, and you have to do it all over again. So this is my second try. See if I can get in here now. Okay, jump, just to be safe, really high. And, oh, what, ow, what the heck? Let me out of here. Just please let me survive. Please let me survive. Please, I don't want to go back down there again. Please, 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 let me up there. How high up is it? I'm making it. No! Let me just get this guy out of my way. Now we're on third try. Let me shoot. No! Oh! Okay, try number four. Must be calm. Just calmly knock away the blocks. Calmly jump. And calm keep no no Oh try number five Ugh okay I'll get up there this time This time we'll be fine Oh Phew I'm safe now just whoa it's closing on me Open back up open back up There we go now let me up there Up 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 No Up 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 Come on, just a little higher, just a little higher, just a few more miles. Come on now, this isn't funny anymore. No! No! Try number six. Try number six. I'm still on try number two. Try number seven. Try number seven. I'm on try number seven. Faster, 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 faster. Oh, oh, that was close. Shouldn't go so fast this time. I'm Try number eight. Try number eight. Get on. Let's try number eight. Now this time, I promise myself, I will get to the very top of this little, uh, whatever. No, 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 no. Uh, back up again. Try number nine. No. Try number nine. Try number nine. Try number. No. It's you, your fault, right there. You stupid little uh, guy. Yeah, I went up there. He's dead too. Yes, you. You get dead. Ah. You know, I just got an idea. What if I let those enemies down there kill me? Then I would be teleported back to where I started. Yeah, and I'd be out of here. Oh wait, I have unlimited health. Uh, ah! They're alive! They're gonna die! Yeah, you're dead! Ugh. 
Now what is it? Try number 10? Uh, I'm double digits already. Alright. Now this can't be too difficult. Just going up. Up. Going up. Coming in. Whoa! Ah, uh -huh. yeah. See, I'm getting better at this. I saved myself. Yeah, can't stop old Samus from getting past this. Oh, no! Whoa! Aha! I got you again, didn't I? Yeah, can't stop me. <laughs> Try number 11! 11. 11. Okay. That's a lucky number, or it's an unlucky number. I can't remember which. Or we're about to find out. Let's see. Be a lucky number, number 11. Be a good number. <laughs> Okay, so it's a semi-good number. Didn't get me up there as fast as I wanted to, but I'm still getting up there. Okay. <laughs> number 12. <laughs> Just get up there, please. Please get up there. Please, Samus, I'm begging you. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm calmer. I'll get up there. And you are, yeah. Getting up there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing. Yeah, thank you for living, Samus. Thank you. What the? Okay. Just live, please. Just live, okay? Just live, Samus. Just go. Get up there, please. Please. This is crazy. Go. Oh. Oh my gosh, I see a door. A door! Ah, yes! No land on the. No! Okay, faster, faster, back to the door, to the door, to the door, back to the door, back to the door, back to the door, back to the door, yes, yes, back to the, yes, back to the door, back to the door, I see the door, the door, back to the door, back to the door, fell again, but who cares, back to the door, back, back, oh, another door, that door looks even cooler than the first one, I've got to go in it, but slowly, carefully, and, yes, 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 yahoo, I bet you were hoping I would fall. You sick people. Yes, I'm finally free. I'm out. I bomb my way through. Whoa! No, no! Dang it. Okay, back to our map. Now we have to go for Ridley, who's completely in another direction. We have to go up around here, but then we're stuck, because there's no way to get down to that blue dot, because of this yellow line I've drawn in here. This represents the floor that I can't get through. It just covers my way to get to that blue dot. But what I'm supposed to do is blow through it on the far right corner. How would I know I'm supposed to do that? Who would think it's vulnerable? Lucky me that I have a map, but people who played this game a while ago would probably say that there's no way to even find him. They wouldn't even know who they're going after because this game didn't tell you anything about them anyway. And look at all the unused paths. Now some of them lead to upgrades and power-ups, but most of it is just there to get in your way, some dead ends and stuff like that. This game's gonna give me nightmares of being trapped in a never-ending maze with an ineffective weapon and barely any health to hold off a million enemies and find some power-ups that really don't help me at all. My favorite example of this is the guns and their upgrades. In the beginning of the game, you get just a normal gun, takes out these uh, little guys who crawl up over the walls in two hits, okay? Then you get the long beam, okay, just shoots longer, and then the ice beam. Ice beam will freeze an enemy if you shoot it once, okay? It's pretty nice. Then if you shoot it twice, it'll hurt him. So to do the amount of damage that it took to do with a normal beginning of the game shot, it'll take twice as many hits. Now, that means I'm downgrading my weapon over time. Now, what you're watching here is me. Finding Ridley for the first time with a map and all the upgrades and infinite health. It is still almost impossible. Not even the Hercules of Nintendo could ever possibly beat this unless he had the Narpa sword cheat. There is no way you could ever get this 
far in this game with the meager amount of health given to you and actually find Ridley. Yeah. Now what you just saw was almost all of the two hours it took me to actually find this cave. And that's not even to Ridley. That's halfway. Now, I want you to listen to something. This is the music that plays when you're in this section of the maze. Just think about this. Does it sound familiar? It sounds just like a slowed down version of the castle theme from Super Mario Brothers. Just listen to it. Who cares what the music was? No one would have gotten this far in the game anyway. It, it could have just played. And no one would have ever known. Finally, after hours of searching, I found Ridley. This had better be the most entertaining boss fight ever. Uh, huh? Is he that stupid? He can't hit me. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I just spent hours for this. <sighs> I think I'm gonna cry. Uh huh? I'm walking on water. I'm just like Jesus. I'm walking on the lava. Just like Jesus. I'm walking on the. <laughs> let me out, let me out. I'm still walking on the lava, just like Jesus, 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 and just like Jesus, Jesus in a spacesuit. Ow! Hey, that stupid purple whatcha digger just got through the door. But I don't care, cause I'm like Jesus. Huh? I, I lost my Jesus powers. Okay, back to the map. Now I gotta retrace my hour long steps and find Mother Brain, which is up and around here somewhere. Okay, now before I leave the map screen, I wanna show you something. I want you to look at this map. Do you see anything? I see a couple things, like 7-Up is written in it here. Is this game just a huge advertisement? Now there's another thing I want to show you. Stare at the middle of this map. Now do you see anything? I'll tell you what I see. There's a big Mario head in there. You don't believe me? Look again. Watch. You can see his eyes, the top of his head and his hair. Just watch them. And poof, there they are. Now I want an explanation about this. It may just be a coincidence, but dang! Anyway, let's go Metroid hunting. Now this is the only point in the game where you can actually find Metroids. Whoa, that was close. See, you have to stop them because they chase after you, freeze them, and shoot them with missiles. And oh, jeez. And they'll stick on you and there's no way to get them off. Unless you use bombs. No. Bombs aren't working. Come on, more bombs. Come on, get off of me! Yes, I got one off. Other one, quickly, quickly, get him off, get him off, get him off, get him off, oh, ooh, come on, more bombs, yes, I got him off, and no, oh, giggles, another one, <laughs> no, stay back, stay back, get off of me, stay back, get away, no, no, just let me leave, let me out of here, please, I need to leave, my mommy's calling me, I gotta go, it's urgent! No! Let me out! Get off of me! Get off! Uh. Okay, let's see if they stay on me. Maybe they'll follow me everywhere. Like a parasite. Or a toddler. Hey, they're gone! <laughs> <laughs> what do we do now? Let's go back down. I got you now, you- Ah, <laughs> died! I oh, no! No! I was trying to kill your friend! Get off of me! Alright, let's try this again. Get you and- No! Dang it! Oh, no, no, no! No, not you two! No, get off me! No, not that one! No, I'm just... Ah, get off! Off! Oh, 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 oh! Off! Off! Oh, off! Yes, I lost one! Okay. Uh, got you! Yes! Da -da 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 -da. Yes, I'm free! I can't believe they would actually expect someone to be able to get this far in the game and live. And especially go through something like this. This is like death. 
or torture. Anyone playing this game and getting this far wouldn't even be able to get to Mother Brain, much less destroy it. And then after the rooms with the Metroids, you come in here and try and force your way through by shooting missiles at this, I guess, brain matter so you can cut a hole in. But just imagine doing this without infinite health. I'm being bombarded with all these little annoying things that just touch me and knock me back. I'm trying to get through this hole. I'm constantly being attacked. And there's no way to even stay up there before they just knock me over, kick me around. I don't know how much damage I would have taken. There's no way this is ever possible. And this brain matter keeps growing back over time. So if you're not constantly hitting it, it's going to grow even bigger and you're not going to be able to get through. And since I'm constantly being knocked around, I can't stand still and constantly hit this thing so I can make a hole. And it's another nice put down that Mother Brain doesn't even fight back to me. It stands there, or floats or whatever and just lets me kill it while I'm being pummeled by these annoying items still I'm just killing it and this is no fun at all if this was supposed to be the most epic thing in the whole game then the entire thing should just be as entertaining as putting a blindfold on and trying to ride a bike down a mountain ah flashing lights my eyes no explosion the bomb is set get out fast oh great this better not be too hard. I'm really not in the mood. Oh, come on. Look at the size of these things. Come on. Yep. 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 There we go. Oh, great. It's just the same thing. It's looping. It's just this lowercase y that's backwards. Oh, come on. Come on. Try number one. Try number one. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that again. But I do want you to see just how high this place goes. You thought that one thing I was doing before trying to escape from Kraid was high? Just look at this. It just keeps going up and up. And I'm being timed too. This thing is like an ice climber's worst nightmare. It never ends. Now before I show you this ending, I want you to feel like you just spent your whole life beating this game. And you must be hoping for the most cataclysmic and greatest ending ever because it spent so much time. Imagine you were kidnapped and forced to play this game. Kind of like this. Where am I? Hello, we are the NARPAS. The National Association Reducing Psychologic Ability. Seriously. NARPAS. NARPAS? You can call us Narpas. You know what? Call us Narpas Sword. Why? Because it sounds cool. What are you gonna do with me now? We will not release you until you have completed this game that we have assigned you with. Are you kidding me? No. We are reducing your psychologic ability. Seriously. Remember? Right. <laughs> Try number 27. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there, I beat Mother Brain. <laughs> Finally, the bomb has been set. Oh, come on. your mission. It will revive peace and space, but it may be invaded by the other Metroid. Pray for a true peace and space? Huh? What's that mean? I'm flashing. What's going on? Am I mutating? What is it? Huh? I'm a girl? What? Do I have to beat the game 
Again? Oh my. Oh no. I guess every time I beat it, she removes one or more articles of clothing. Well, they've got to keep you playing somehow.